guys you welcome to my channel uh, what are we going to look at now is that we want to find the value of a if log of x in base 4 raised to power of 2 equal log x in base 2 times log x in base a how are we looking for what and we are looking for a how are we going to get the value of a okay you can pause the video and give the problem a try out and when you don't we keep watching the video good I understand mathematically that when you are asked to solve for a certain unknown, all what you are asked to do is to make that unknown the subject of the formula. Then, how are we going to make A the subject of the formula here? Let's start the procedure. I can say this is the same thing as saying log x in base 4 times log x in base 4, and this will equal log x in base 2 times log x in base A. If this is the case, this is something as saying log of x 2 to the power of 2, then this is log x 2 to the power of 2, then I have log x in base 2 times log x in base a. The main purpose of doing this is to make what log x in base 2 common to both sides. So this will become 1 over 2 log x in base 2 and now 1 over 2 log x in base 2 equal log x in base 2 times log x in base a. Shortly, let me tell you what happened here. If I have log of a certain number n, or let me say m, in base a to the power of what n, or probably, let's see, log of m to power of n in base a. This is the same thing as saying n log m in base a. But if the base is taking the power, like I have log m in base a to power of n, this will become 1 over n log m in base a. So we have similar situation like this in this particular point here. So, if this should be the case, we can then proceed since we have log x in base 2, log x in base 2, and log x in base 2. Then, I can say, let log x in base 2 equal p. So, if this should be the case, I can then say 1 over 2p times 1 over 2p equal p log x in base a so we have replaced all log x in base 2 with p so we then end up having p squared over 4 equal p log x in base a okay if this is what we have we can then say this and this cancelled then i will have p over 4 to equal log x in base a okay we are getting that we want to make a the subject of the formula right good if i now cross multiply here i will have that p is equal to 4 log x in base a so let's quickly recall that p is the same thing as log x in base 2. So let's bring this to become log x in base 2 to equal 4 log x in base a. I believe we are following. If that should be the case, I have x as a number here and I also have the same thing here, but the base is different. Why can't I take the reciprocal of this so that x will become the base? And I also take the reciprocal of this so that x will become the base. Then we have common this. So this can become 1 over log of 2 in base x equal 4 over log of a in base x. So... If I multiply both sides by log of what? 2 in base x, I will then have that, okay, or pro probably, let me cross multiply. When I cross multiply, I will have the log of a in base x to equal 4 log 2 in base x. 
Wow, I think A will be able to stand on its own and by the time 4 take back to this place. So, I will then have log of A in base X to become log of 2 to power of 4 in base X. Okay, I think this and this now can cancel since they are equal. So, I will then have that A is equal to 2 to power of 4. And 2 to power of 4 is same thing as saying A equal 16. And that's the value for the answer. Kind of like this video, subscribe and share with your friend and watch out for more mathematical problems like this.